Hey guys! Today I'm playing Whispering Willows. I'm a little bit nervous because it is categorized as a horror video game, but hopefully it's not too bad. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm already like kind of scared. I don't want to play. Uh, why is my screen so big? And why is my sound so loud? Okay, deep breaths. Let's go. Profile name. I have to be Elena. <laughs> Wait, I can't even change the name? Okay, let's go. Gosh, her eyes were like huge. She's running away. Don't go in. Fell through the ground? What? Chapter 1 Wartham's War. So there's chapters. Okay. So. Am I supposed to. Oh, what? What was that? Am I supposed to do something? Hello? Okay. Keys work. WASD works. Space. I don't know what that does. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> I don't want to move. Okay. I'm... Okay. <gasps> Something's happening. Oh no, Dad's amulet is gone. I can't leave without it. Okay. Let's pick up amulet. I thought I'd lost it. Press E. Press E again. Amulet, my family's heirloom. It's been passed down countless generations. Okay. I have an amulet. Okay, at least it's not super dark anymore. Now we're crawling. <gasps> New diary entry added. Press escape to read. Oh, diary. Willow's Family Catacombs. What is this place? I'm so lost, and Mom doesn't know where I am, and I'm supposed to be looking for Dad. I have to find a way out of here and keep looking for him. I know that if I can just get out of here, I'll find some sign of my dad. I won't give up. Okay. We're looking for dad. We are looking for Elena's dad. Oh boy. OMG. Human bones. Lovely. But why? Well, you're in a catacombs. Is there a zombie in there? Oh gosh. Her amulet's lighting up. Girl, hear me girl, your power calls to me. 
Elena, the amulet around your neck was crafted by the first high shaman of the Quantaco tribe, my grandfather. It glows in the presence of spirits and boosts your shamanic powers. Let it be your guide. Press Q to change form. Whoa. Now what? The spirit and body may drift from one another, but must be joined as one in the end. Okay. A fragmented life cannot be lived. I lost my body, and look at me now, but perhaps you can help me find it. Okay. I shall reside within your amulet and teach you to fend off the darkness. Great. Great. Flying Hawk's Ghost. So, do I not need my mouse in this? Maybe I'll just move it? Alright, let's, let's walk. Or fly. We're flying. There is a crack above that door. Use it to get to the other room. Oh, I can move up. Up. Oh. Okay, made it through. Oh, I hate this place. Glowing objects can be possessed. Move closer and possess the switch lever. Push up or down to move the switch. Well, it can only move one way. Good work, Alana. Now to rejoin your body and spirit. Yes. Press Q. Okay. New diary entry. I can hardly believe it. I just met a ghost. His name is Flying Hawk, and he's one of my ancestors. He told me my amulet has power, and he taught me how to use it. Now I can take control of my spirit. This is just what I need to help find Dad. I was feeling pretty worried for a little while, but I don't think anything can stop me now. Okay. Nothing can stop us now. Should we go through the opening? I don't know. I don't know. Should we climb the ladder? There's a note. I soared through the sky as I sat atop a great eagle's bald head. I was carried further up beyond the clouds until I sat with the stars. I watched as the gods molded the world and used their own bodies for the day. They tore out their hearts for the earth's core, and their blood is the water we drink. We walk about their dirt, flesh, and rock bones. When all that was left were the hands they used to shape the world, their fingers became the trees that cover our land. It is to them that we owe everything, and we must honor our eternal bond and live in harmony with the Great Spirit. The Spirit Realm calls me more often than it did before. As High Shaman of the Quantico, I must heed its call and relate to my people what the Great Spirit has shown me. Okay. Note 1 out of 5 by the guy. The Flying Hawk guy. Alright, looks like the room ends here, so we have to decide. I think up is a better bet. Someone must have really loved this person. Yeah. It's locked. There's a crescent moon shape on the door. I guess we have to <laughs> go through that opening. Sketchy. Oh, okay, that's the end there. Going down. Why is this place so scary? Is something gonna pop out? 
something's gonna come out and kill you. Here's another note. New note added. Okay. This is Wortham Willows. My dearest Martha has fallen dreadfully ill. She's contracted a case of dysentery. The physician we brought with us believes she will live, but I am in a constant state of worry. I care for her day and night. Surely she cannot care for herself. It pains me that she cannot see the beautiful land we pass through. I feel as though the sight would do her well, but the physician has warned that she mustn't move nor be moved by any else her fragile state could go into disarray. I pray to God that he will save her. I can do not but wait and pray. Okay, so Martha is ill. Physician says she could live. Okay, I don't know. Maybe Martha's dead now. All right, so we can either go down that way or what's this crate? You wonder a lot of things and don't do anything about it. All right, why are there so many things to go through? Oh, another note. The second flying hawk note. The great eagle returned and took me upon its bare crown again. We flew into the air and rested on the clouds. I could see beyond the horizon, and what I saw choked the breath from my lungs as my heart was wrenched from my chest. The C and the H <laughs> look like a D almost. Okay. The earth turned in on itself, and so too did my skin. The world was in certain upheaval. Pale figures marched across the land and brought with them blankets of death that covered my people as they slept. I saw plumes of dust dark in the sky. No plants grew and giant black rivers cut across the land like infected veins. Monstrous looking beasts of metal and industry will fill our land and destroy the bonds we have worked so hard to nurture. All right. Urn. My grandpa's in one of these. Awesome. Rip Willow's Estate Groundskeeper. Oh, should I open the door? The door is locked. Okay, we can fly. It's Q. Another cue. Wait, what did I do? Undo, go back. <laughs> My mistake. What, is there anything over here? No, okay. So, how do we go down? Oh, there we go. Ooh, a key. Oh, I, I'm a ghost, I can't grab a key. We gotta push it up. Q. Huh, a key to a storage area of some kind. Awesome. Let's find where this key goes. This is just another hole. So let's go through. Hmm. Okay, well, so we need something to, I don't know. These pulleys look like they work something below me. Maybe the crypt door down one level. Yes, obviously. Okay, wait, I've been up there. There was another place to go down this way. I don't think I need to do that. 
Have I been down here? Ooh, what's this? This coffin looks like it was made in a rush. Oh no. No more shaking. Oh. <gasps> Let's talk to this guy. Ming Shang. Wartham made this door without a keyhole to restrict access to all but himself. Okay. Nobody knows what's in there though. I've only heard rumors. Uh, do we talk to him again? No, okay, it's the same stuff. All right, so I talked to him. Can we open it? No keyhole. I wonder how it opens. I wonder too. Um, so, where have we not gone? Hello? Letter? We came through that one, I think. But there was another one, wasn't there? Oh, here it is. Okay, let's go through here. It's like a maze down here. Okay. What's what's red mean? What's red? What the heck? What does red mean? Oh, oh, it just, oh, I, I even noticed. So it looks like there's nothing in there, but then I was able to see it after going into this state. So there's nothing else over here. But let's read this note. Two out of 13, that's a lot. This day heralds the coming of a new dawn for me. The history books will sing my praises and the world over shall know of my deeds. I set off to settle the savage west. With me as always is my trusted companion, Darby O'Halloran. It was enormous relief to know he would accompany me. He's far and away my most trusted friend. He's far and away my most trusted friend, and I don't know what I'd do without him. Along with us are 24 men that used to work for my father who are now under my employ. They will be crucial in the grunt work along the way. Also with me is, of course, my beautiful bride, Martha, who demanded she join me. Staying here in New England, however, is young Marcus. He's already 16 years old, almost a man. He shall continue his education and apprentice under my own father. He could have no better a teacher. Surely. The boy pleaded with me to come along, but I told him he needed to do what was right for the family business, that someone would need to look after it while I established myself in the West. He's a sharp lad and understood well the necessity of his sacrifice. I embraced him more tightly than I ever had dared to do, but he'd soon be a man, and I knew he could take it. Okay, there's a lot of creepy sounds going on here. A little bit... A little bit worried to see what's up here. There's someone here. This lever opens the crypt door. Wartham hid the lever in here to keep his secrets from escaping. So helpful. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Now go back to the body. 
Oh, scratches on the wall. Am I supposed to read that? Whatever made these was trying to get through the ceiling. Is there like some monster here? Okay, let's let's go back. Oh, there's a door here. Oh, it's locked. And smeared with blood. Awesome. Awesome. Um, we gotta go down. Somehow. Here we go. A key. Neat, it's a key with a crescent moon on the end. Oh, there was a thing that had a key. Or that needed a key. Oh boy. I can't move. Oh no. <gasps> oh gosh. What am I supposed to do about that? What do I do? Am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? I'm dead! I don't know. Did I die? Okay. So I lost. <laughs> Alright. Let's try again. So now I know. Now I know. We gotta like, run out of there. Let's run, like, right to the door first. Run, quick! And then we'll turn into Ghost Lady. We'll get up, get up in here. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> I lost again. Man! No, run! Dang it! <laughs> alright, alright, come on. I got this this time. So bad at this game. Go, 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 go. This is, this is like a booby trap. Run! Run, 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 run. Okay, and then press Q. Then go up, 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 up. Then fly through here. Then press space. Then press up. Then press Q. Then go through. Then press. S oh, what? No, just go. <gasps> A growing darkness has plagued this place since my death. It festers beneath the surface like an infected boil. In exchange for my teachings, you must in turn assist me, Elena. I need to find my body, and you're the only one who can help. Okay. Okay. Okay, that was interesting. All right, now I gotta find that door that needed that key. Maybe it's up here. Nice. Let's go. Oh, we're outside. Evil Unleashed. What? What on earth was that thing? I felt like I was living one of my nightmares. I could feel it feeding on me, on my spirit. Ugh, I'm so tired, but I have to keep going. I'm the only one that can find my dad. The demon's gone now, and I'm almost out of here. I promised Flying Hawk I'd help him find his body. I'm not sure, but I feel like the guest house is where I should look first. 
All right, we'll check the guest house. You can run outdoors by holding shift. What? Oh. So right now we're looking for the guest house. I think let's just keep moving right. We can shift. What's this? Fountain. What a neat old fountain. I'm surprised it still works. Space to leave the garden. There's a locked gate. And a bucket. Okay, I took the bucket. There's a bench. Can I sit? I don't have I don't have time to sit. Okay. Pick up the note. John Elkhorn. I've been hired as groundskeeper of the Willows Mansion here in town. It's not my ideal work situation, but at least it's income for now. It should just be temporary for me anyway, but I can't stay unemployed with a family to provide for. I have to make sure I'll be able to send Elena to a good school and buy her the things she needs. Also, I think this is from, from her dad, John Elkhorn. I was actually really lucky to come across this opportunity. The old groundskeeper suddenly decided he'd had enough of the place after 30-some years of watching over it. He quit on the spot. It was an immediate hire position. I don't have much experience with this kind of thing, aside from landscaping, when I was 17 years old or so. But they needed someone, and it would appear as though I'm that someone. They needed him to, what, take over? Okay. So it looks like we're exiting the garden. I don't know why I decided to go left, but I did. So that way is the mansion. I don't know. Oh, we found the guest house. It's all boarded up. All right. Press space to go outside. No, I just got in here. Okay. What else? Coat rack. I won't hang Dad's jacket up there. Oh, am I am I wearing Dad's jacket? Go through door. A note. By Wortham Willows. All my prayer, all my devotion did nothing to save Martha. I do not even have the resources to build a proper casket for her. God has truly forsaken us both. I couldn't just leave her there in the desolate plains for the rats and maggots to have at her. No, I shall protect her even now, even in death. What is that sound? It's like weird. Okay. No, I shall protect her even now, even in death. We were to carve a home together out of the wilds of the West. She will come with us, and she'll not be interred until I've found a suitable place for her. If any man dares object to my decision to bring Martha with us, no matter his reasons, I shall in that very instant shoot him dead. Sorry, the train just went by. All right. Let's continue. Let's leave the creepy bathroom. Hate bathrooms. All right. Piano. I wish I could hear someone play this. Well, someone must be there. Alonzo Martinez. Hey there, little lady. Let me play a tune that's as pretty as you. Um, huh. No, that's not it. Hmm. I must apologize, little lady. I can't remember how it goes, and I don't have my sheet music either. If you can find my sheet music, I'd love to play you a song. I'm supposed to find him sheet music?
That was it, right? Yeah, okay. I don't need to do that again. Okay. Flying Hawk. It has been many a year since the great bald eagle first visited me. Its visit is always a sign. I must take great care to decipher the meaning of my vision. The pit in my stomach warns me of what could be if I do not. I flew once more with the great bald eagle, but this time he did not show me what was or what will be. No, he instead showed me what already is. We traveled east across the land to where the white men live in their busy cities with their busy lives. They are removed from the great spirit's presence, ruled by a different god, one that manifests their destinies. I could see the spread of these people, like a sickness within the body they grow and expand. I saw trails before them that blazed with fire and gold, and glimmed, glimmered in the men's eyes, and they were entranced by it. It is their fortunes they saw within the fires that these white men desire. Riches these men shall seek, but only turmoil and death they shall find. I awoke violently from my trance, my blankets drenched in sweat. We must ready ourselves for their coming. We must be the cure for their sick spirits. If not us, then whom? The duty falls to my people, for we are those who have been shown the way. We must protect our way of life, not through violence, but through communion with nature and with one another. Okay, some sickness of the souls. You gotta save their souls. Alright, what's over here? Nothing. What a crazy looking stove. Sure. Oh, someone's here. So many, so many slaughtered. All those natives and their blood on our hands. Hmm. We'll be damned. Damned, I say. Our souls damned to hell. Lovely. Okay. That's cool. Let's read this note. Flying Hawk 4. At last they come. It was foretold to me years ago, but the visions are still fresh within my mind. We have heard from tribes we trade with that the white man is on his way. We have heard from tribes we trade with that the white man is on his way. I have no idea what that's trying to say. Their expeditions into the west have come and gone, and they have found it a place worthwhile. The other tribes bring news of the east. What we have heard does not bode well, but it aligns with what the great bald eagle showed me. We have heard tell that the white man is violent, that he kills indiscriminately for gain and for pleasure, heedless of his God's laws. We must now do more than ever to show the white men that we can live together in peace. We are all creatures of this earth, and we share in that common bond. We shall accept them as the brothers to us that they are. Okay. So, sounds like there's, like, white men who came and killed, like, a native tribe here. Mom would throw a fit if our nice china looked like that. Mm, okay. We we going up the stairs. Do I want to open the curtains? I'm not going to look. Oh. Did nothing happen? Then maybe I'll just close them. <laughs> okay, let's leave them closed just in case. That door is stuck. And that door is stuck. Okay, so we gotta go up. Um. 
Nothing over here. Okay. So I guess our only option is to go down. We are going to possess the dresser and move the dresser over. That should be far enough. Right? No, I don't want to open the curtain. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. There's a bed. I'm tired, but I can't rest until I find dad. Okay, let's go up the ladder. Expecting it to move. That door is locked. This is another door. No wheels or anything. A group of young braves spied a party of white men coming from the east. We do not yet know anything about them. It is my hope that they will be of no danger to us. However, we must ready ourselves for action if need be, all the while presenting open arms to these new friends. We have prepared food so that our visitors may share in our bounty, and we wish to welcome them. Some of the women and children have prepared themselves to flee if these men turn violent, something I asked of them to do. I hate to think it, but we will need people to continue our line. Among these women and children are my daughters, granddaughters, and grandsons. If I cannot save myself, I can at least save them, but I have no doubt these white men will regard us well. So long as we show ourselves to be welcoming and civilized, they will see us as their own. This is the last note from Flying Hawks. So maybe we're going to find his body soon. That might be creepy. I hope he's like, not dead. I'm the one they make get water from the well, the only one, so I left the bucket back in the garden. When they can't find me, what'll they do? Go thirsty, that's right. But I have the bucket. Should I give it to her? I can't give it to her. Okay, never mind. Bad idea. Tortured table? What is this place? Should I talk to her again? No, same stuff, okay. Okay, not much over here. Now where to? Go back down. Not opening the curtains. And going through the door. There's a trap door here, but how does it open? There must be a way. Of course there's a way, but let's check this way first. Toilet. Okay. Awesome. Awesome commentary. Go through the hole. What is going on? Is this a maze? Okay, well then. Ooh. 
what? No. Am I supposed to crawl through? It's gonna start shaking again on me? No, it's just letting me through. Okay. Ugh, sheet music, hey, a page of sheet music. I wonder what the tune sounds like. All that to get a piece of sheet music. All right, let's go back. Something gonna happen on our way back. We're gonna get trapped. Nope, nothing of the sorts. Okay, let's leave. Let's leave. Now what? That one's stuck. We already went up there. Is there anywhere we didn't go? Pretty sure I went through here. Do I have to open the curtains? Oh, right, this guy. Give him sheet music. Oh, thank you, Elena, thank you. I've been so lost without the gift of music in my life. How I shall play for you the song I promised. Oh, now I shall play for you the song I promised. Ooh. Why, thank you. Go to the basement. Basements. Train, basements, and trains. No, but basements are like never any good. Is this train gone yet? My goodness. All right, train is gone. So, basements, I hate. I sense a great amount of death and decay nearby. We must be getting close. To what? That's not cool. Is this person's body dead? Are they luring me to like death? You must dig, Elena, and uncover what lies beneath. Like actually dig? Yep, actually dig. I need something to dig with. Well, I don't know. Use the bucket. Dig with a bucket. No? Where am I supposed to find something to dig with? Have I gone through here? I think so. We're still in chapter one. All right, let's maybe go back out. This was to the garden. There's a note here. I think I think we skipped something, but I'll read it. Young Marcus wishes to visit me here, but I've taken up residence, residence inside a meager farmhouse that I commissioned the men to build for me. I do not wish for him to see me living in such a hut, but 
My means now allow me to live rather more comfortably, and so I have decided to build a mansion befitting of my rising wealth and stature. As my wealth grows, so too shall my mansion, and the extravagance of its grounds. My quaint farmhouse shall be converted into a guest house, as I plan to host functions that will make famous on this side of the country make me famous on this side of the country. I hope to have much in order when he arrives, such that we may spend ample time visiting together. He has informed me within his letters of how much he has grown, and I truly cannot wait to see the boy. It has been far too long. I look forward to seeing him and getting a glimpse at what of his mother has shown up inside him. Okay. So a little bit out of order. But, yeah, actually, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't go this way. It seems like we're out of order right now. So, I don't know if I need to go back. Maybe to the garden. Maybe there's like a shovel in the garden. Wait, was there... Did we already talk to this person? Nope. Did you see the white men? I'm picking flowers for them. Flying Hawk says we should be peaceful. Interesting. All right. So, not much here. Maybe let's go to the mansion. I wonder what this place looked like in its prime. Okay, let's see. I don't know, that started like a whole new notes section to the back of the mansion. Attach the bucket. Enter the well. Okay. Oh. Oh. So we have to go back to the guest house. I guess we gotta go back to the guest house because the well told me to. So, you know, I went all the way here for no reason, but that's all right. Tool shed. <gasps> Tool shed, shovel. Here we go, we're onto something. I'd heard stories of this place when I was growing up from my grandparents and we learned about its history in school, but I never knew who to believe. The stories from my family told a dark history of brutal genocide and inhuman enslavement of our people, the Quantico natives. The history I learned in school was quite different. Wortham Willows, the forebear of this place, was depicted as an independently wealthy tycoon around whose endeavors the town sprouted. The thing is, I can see evidence for both sides of the argument, and that evidence is strewn about these grounds. Hmm. Wonder how old it is. Is that what's important, though? Alright, we gotta go back. To where was I? Walk left, guest house. And we have to go back down and then start digging. Yo, is this guy's body underground? I don't wanna. This isn't right. We've unearthed these anguished souls of the dead. Elena, go. Get out now. Ew. 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 How do I get out? Run. Why is she so slow? Dude, dude, get out. I am baffled by this, Elena. I was sure my body would be found here. 
I remember falling, falling down into darkness, a pit of despair. Please, Elena, we must continue the search. In the well, probably. Which I was just there, literally. Press space to go through. No, no, not that door. I think we gotta go to the well. Oh, diary. There's so much in this place I don't understand. Why is there such a feeling of darkness here? And why would someone want to take my dad? Flying Hawk doesn't know enough to give me solid facts either. I have so many unanswered questions. It makes me want to cry. My energy feels so sapped from everything I've seen. But it doesn't matter. I have to keep searching no matter what. No matter what. Let's keep going. Go, go, go. Oh yes, we're getting close. I feel my body's presence nearby. Like you did last time. Alright, let's go, let's go. Hopefully his body's here and... This is far enough, my body life my body lies in the dirt just beyond the walls of this well. Thank you for your help, Elena. I would have wandered endlessly throughout this world without you. Is he leaving me? I can now finish my journey to the afterlife. I wish you luck in finding your father. I assure you he lives, but you must hurry. I'll be watching over you. Goodbye, Elena. You can finally rest in peace now, Flying Hawk. Because of you, I know my dad's in the mansion somewhere. Thank you for everything. All right, guess we're going into the mansion. Flying Hawk's gone now. He's resting in peace somewhere. I'm happy for him. I really am. He'd wandered this world for far too long. I just wish he didn't have to leave me all alone. I feel a little bit lost without him, but he didn't leave me with nothing after all. I don't think I would have gotten this far without his help, and thanks to him, I know what I have to do. I've got to find my way into the mansion now. It's so big and scary looking from the outside. I really don't want to do it, but if it means finding my dad, I'll do anything I have to. We will do anything to find Daddy. Chapter 2. For next time. So I'm going to stop there at the end of Chapter 1. Let me know if you guys want to see Chapter 2. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of these types of videos, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button so that you can be notified when I post a new video. Anyways, thanks again. Bye!